we are opening the rarest Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon booster packs for mental health. What's up guys, we're back with another insane opening and today we're going to be opening some really crazy products for mental health. If you guys have heard of Leon Hart, he is a very large Pokemon creator. He sent 72 other creators a base set 2 Pokemon pack, which is a pack that was printed in 2000. So it's a very old pack, very expensive pack. He sent them out so the other creators would make videos in order to support mental health. I was one of the creators he sent it to. So if you guys are interested in donating to the National Alliance on Mental Health, I will have the link in the description. Tons of people are struggling with mental health. So if you guys want to support that, check out the link in the description. Let me show you what we're going to be opening guys in this video. And we do have a quick giveaway i'll be giving away these three cards just like the video be subscribed and of course leave a comment down below supporting mental health and all the stuff we're doing in this video as for the packs we're opening three portuguese legend blue eyes that's gonna be fun we've got 10 ghosts from the past that's the small stuff then we have four first edition invasion of chaos third party blister packs these are going to be really fun to open we still have not pulled blacklister soldier that's our goal here and finally, we have two Pokemon packs. We have the base set two pack sent to us by Leon Hart in order to support the video. So this is going to be really fun. We could pull a base set two Charizard. That would be insane. Then we have a shadowless base set pack. Yeah, this isn't a regular base set pack. This is a shadowless pack, which makes it a little bit more valuable. It's not quite first edition, but it's the next step down. It's really nice. And if we did pull a Charizard out of here, it's like a $75,000 card in 10. It's, it's crazy. It's really hot. Let's get into this. This is going to be pretty epic. By the way, if you guys check out Leon Hart's video where he announced this special, uh, what, what are we trying to say here? This special charity um, event, I guess we could say. If you guys go check that out, he, he's starting to open a bunch of Pokemon packs. Nice, Balefire. And he's giving away all the cards he pulls to donators. So if you guys follow my link, I believe my link, I, I just got it from his video. I think it should enter you into that giveaway as well. So not only do you get to support a good cause, but you get the chance to win evenly matched. Very good start to this opening. But you get a chance to win a ton of cards. Like they're opening some really rare stuff. Even more stuff than we're opening here today. Because we're just opening a couple packs and he's opening a lot. So go check that out. If you guys want to support that, I appreciate you guys doing that. And uh, especially if you, it is a cause near and dear to your heart, you definitely want to go check it out. So Royal Prison, we got the uh, Starry Night Flamel. When he mentioned that he wanted to send this uh, base set two pack out, I was like this is perfect uh old rare stuff you know it's it's right up my alley so let's see if we can throw in some stuff like the invasion of chaos i've wanted to open these i figured it was a perfect time dragoon and knight arebed hair all right let's go into a first edition portuguese lob pack so these aren't the craziest the most rare packs but it does have a chance to pull those original first edition cards let's see if we can pull the blue eyes white dragon we have the mystical sheep number two except i can't read it we've got the uh oh man tripwire beast okay um, Skull Redbird. Mizarazame, Yame. Not Yame, because it's a... Ooh, a Curse of Dragon. We did get a super rare out of here. Good start. We've already gotten an evenly matched, and we've gotten a Curse of Dragon. Very good start so far to this opening. Hopefully, we can end it pretty well, because we've got... You're obviously the same name. We've got some big... And so is Hinatama. We've got some really, really rare stuff coming. Okay, back to Ghost from the Past. I think we might hop into an Invasion of Chaos at some point, like in the next couple of packs, because we do have four of those. All right, Hieratic Dragon of a Tum, Time 3 for Redoer, and the Starry Knight Arrival. Very nice. The time has come. Our first, first edition Invasion of Chaos. Inside, we could pull the Blackluster Soldier. Let's see what we can get in here. Not only is there a pack, but there's three cards. Last time, we got Starter Deck Yugi Commons, so let's see. And Starter Deck Yugi Commons. Hey, we got a Fissure and a Trap Master Trap Hole. Actually, some of the best cards in the deck, so not terrible. Our first, first edition pack. Can we break the curse of the Blackluster Soldier? This is the time. I mean, it's for a good cause. I mean, I feel like that's good karma for pulling this thing, so we'll see if that matters at all. Let's go into the first pack we have invasion of chaos there's also a lot of other good cards like um dimensional what's that dimensional few dimension fusion there we go there's the chaos emperor dragon i don't know if this is a retail or not i don't remember if we decided griffin's feather duster but there's some other good ones as well inferno oh of course dark magician of chaos we got the inferno the boganian come on give us something good Ooh, a dark dry ceratops just a rare on the first one that's good we got three more we got three more spatial collapse and ojama yellow we still got a chance you gotta believe let's go into another ghost pack we have not pulled a ghost from ghost from the past in a very long time so let's see if we can i've sold a lot of these packs so hopefully some people have pulled ghost rares instead of me uh time thief double barrel very good next ghost pack this would be the perfect time to pull a dark magician or something like that ghost rare sun avalon dry so we got the xc's burst update jammer Star Knight Balefire. That's it. That's the whole, that's everything. Okay. Legend of Blue Eyes. First edition pack. Portuguese, of course. We've got the Vile Germs. The Germus Vis. Fire Yaru. Same name. 
The Succubus Knight, Taihon. Ooh, and the dra Dark Fire Dragon, not Dragon Fire, Hinotama, and Morsego. All right, slowing down a little bit, but we've still got several packs to go. Several packs to go. We had evenly matched in Curse of Dragon to start us off right. Let's see if we can pull something else. Cosmo, Salvage, Time Thief, Basil Ship. Ooh, and the Neshadal Genius. This used to be a pretty good card. I think it's come down a lot, but it's still not bad. And the final Legend of Blue Eyes first edition pack. We had three of these. We've pulled a super and a rare. Let's see if we can uh, pull an ultra rare or secret rare here. We've got the Sogan, a beautiful field. I really like this card. I think it looks good. The uh, Mystical Sheep number two. Tripwire Beast. The Skull Red Bird. And the Armed Ninja. Okay, Inotama and the, uh, yeah, the, what is that guy called? Metabat or something like that? Time for the next Invasion of Chaos pack. All right, time to see what our three cards are. Will they be from Starter Deck Yugi? If, it, if we had the Dark Magician, that'd be really cool. Okay, they are from Starter Deck. Silver Fang! We love that card, um, but uh, yes, just Starter Deck Yugi comments. Kind of a scam. I've got beef with these uh, these guys from 20 years ago who repackaged this stuff. I'm just kidding. Not really. Time to open Invasion of Cat. Oh, yeah. Good start. Spirit of the Pot of Greed. How can you not like that card? Molten Zombie. Soul Tigre. Primal Seed, will this be the one? Will this be the Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning? We've been searching for this card it's for 800 episodes of this show. Okay, here we go. Destruction Ring, we've been destroyed. Smashing Ground, very cool card. Curse Seal of Forbidden Spell and Gigantis. I mean, that's a really good pack if you're playing an actual game. Okay, let's go into these last two Ghosts from the Past. Then we'll go into the base set, the Shadowless pack, the base set two pack, and then the other two, Invasion and Chaos. We will see if we can pull something crazy. We just need one big pull. That's all we need. Metaphors Fusion. Oh, another evenly matched. It's actually really good. I mean, it's the best card that's not a ghost rare. It's not extremely expensive because the set wasn't that good, but uh, still pretty good. Final Ghost from the Past, our last chance at a ghost rare. We could pull the $800 Dark Magician. It was $800. I think it actually came down a little bit, but it's still pretty expensive. Mass Change. Madolce Fresh to start your town. Metaphors Wolf Lane. Ooh, Hieratic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres. Pretty good card. Now we are down to the end. We've got Base Set Shadowless, Base Set 2, and two more Invasion of Chaos. I think we go into a Pokemon pack here. Let's go into the Base Set 2. Because Shadowless is by far the most expensive pack we have here, let's go into the Base Set 2. I've never opened this set, so this should be really cool. I'm actually really excited for this because I've not opened a lot of Watsy packs. Like, by a lot, I mean, like, maybe, like, one. <laughs> I think I opened one with ZNG Emporium when I was with him in Arizona, which was really cool. But other than that, never done it. So let's see what we can do. We have a Pokemon base set to came out in 2000, literally just 2000, two years before Yu-Gi-Oh even started in the United States. Let's see. We have a Kakuna. This is a really cool card. Um, I know it's just a Kakuna, but like all these cards are really cool. We've got a Firo. I remember all these cards, so maybe I did open some back in the day. I don't know where I got my Pokemon cards. I either got from bags, maybe I traded, I don't know. But uh, I had a lot of these. Haunter, very nice. Is it is it the next one after this? Yeah, it's after Nidoran. Okay, Nidoran. So maybe we should do, I mean, it's Pokemon. we got to do the pack trick, right? So let's go like this. Unless we just ruined it. Okay, I don't think we did. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's it. Starmie's a common in here, huh? Interesting. Okay. Uh, and Because in, in Pokemon, they have commons uncommons and rares so there's like a, a middle ground we've got a ghastly that's pretty cool i really liked ghastly as a kid on the video game is one of my favorites we've got the metapod very nice oh a magneton i completely messed up the uh, the back trick but we got a hollow magneton let's check it out wow we pulled a foil guys i'm officially two for no three for three on Watsy packs that have been opened in my presence. So when I was with ZNG, we opened two jungle packs that he thought were not actually heavy. They were like borderline and both had a foil. And then we just pulled this. I have never not pulled a foil from a Watsy Pokemon pack. So you guys just, you want me to open your pack, send them over. Magneton, that is absolutely crazy. And we got Self Destruct. Why was Magneton in every set? Like, it's just weird. Magneton was in every set at the beginning of Pokemon. It's very strange, but very cool card. I mean, I like this one. All right, let's see what the rest of the pack was. We got the Leaf Energy. We got the uh, Electric Energy. Nidoran and the Execute. A double Nidoran. Cool. Very cool pack. All right, next pack. This has been a good start so far. Let's see if we can continue it on with the Invasion of Chaos. Redemption time for the extra cards. We have more. Okay, SDK this time. We got another Trap Hole. They really want us to Trap Hole their monsters. Can the Invasion of Chaos bring us luck? So far, we have, we're have 0 for 3 overall. It's 0 for 2 in this video on these Invasion of Chaos third-party blisters. Let's see if we can finally pull a foil. There's so many epic ones. Here we go. Sea Serpent, Warrior of Darkness. Chaos End. The Big Koala. Uh-oh. It looks like we might have something back there. Let's see. 
Thunder Crash. Whew, I'm getting nervous. This could be the Black Ulster Soldier. The moment we've all been waiting for. Here we go. Big Burn! <laughs> it is a super rare, but it's just Big Burn. You can barely tell that it's a super rare. All right, but it's a foil. It's a foil. It's better than nothing. I do like... I think this card looks pretty nice, but man, the foil is hard to see. All right, Sacred Crane, Curse of the Fur and Spell Gigantis, and Multiplication of Ants. All right, let's go into the base set Shadowless Pack. This could contain a $75,000 card. Yeah, I know. That's insane. If it is the Charizard and it graded it's in, it would be around that value, which is absolutely nuts. I don't think there's going to be one in there, to be honest, but we're going to open it up. Just remember, if you guys want to support the uh, National Alliance on Mental Health, check out the link below. Let's see what we can pull. Uh-oh. Oh, don't rip it too bad. I'm pretty sure that this is not a foil, but the, they do have pretty good ratios in Pokemon, so we'll see. We'll see. They are confirmed shadowless, so as you guys can see, there's no shadow on that side like in the base set 2-pack. There was. Let's see if we can show you guys. So uh, right there, you guys see that shadow on the right side. All right, there is no shadow here. Let's see what we can pull. We've got the Ponyta. We're not trying to do a pack trick this time after last time. Ponyta. The Starmie. These Shadows cards look really nice. They look way better, I think. The Star U in the same pack. Come on, just any foil. Any foil, we're going crazy. Let's see. Okay, Voltorb. It's nothing. Whew, okay, Whew, okay. Wait, maybe we should go like this. All right, Poliwhirl. So we got a Poliwhirl. Very nice. We don't want to ruin it too quickly. We've got a Revive. All right, nice. And we've got a... Far-fetched. All right, let's just keep going from here. I think this is a good good place to go. Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, all those are really awesome. Oh, okay, just an energy. I think we did it perfectly. I think the next one might be an energy. Okay, another energy. Okay, double energy. I'm getting nervous. Here we go. Oh, a Pokemon Breeder! <laughs> TCA Gaming will appreciate this. A Pokemon Breeder. All right, no thing in the pack, unfortunately, but that was fun to open. We still have Invasion of Chaos. Final pack of the video. Last three comments. Will we get a foil? Monster Reborn, Dragon Capture Jar. Okay, a lot of starter deck comments, but we got a Monster Reborn. Pretty cool. Final pack of the video. It's been a pretty good one. Can we pull an Ultra Rare, a Secret Rare, something crazy out of this Invasion of Chaos pack? Manju, we haven't seen a Manju yet. That'd be nice. That's a nice common. Whew. Final part. Fenrir. Crimson Ninja. Pinch Hopper. Griffin's Feather Duster. And finally, what will we pull? Will it be an Ultra Rare? Come on, let's do this. Berserk Gorilla. That's me after this opening. Chaos Sorcerer, Gora, Jade Insect Whistle, and the Sacred Crane. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out the link below if you want to support the National Alliance on Mental Health. I know they will appreciate it. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Tome Fo Show, Tomato Juice, Noah J, Hawaiian Yu-Gi-Oh, Stanley, Mike Nance, and Mimic Gecko. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.